Okay, today I'm going to show you Dunnit. Dunnit is an application uh, that I have written in Actual. It's basically a time management thing. Um, it stems from um, uh, a job I was working at a few years ago where uh, it involved a long amount of time of foundations and uh, I'd just be working throughout the day and then uh, uh, at the end of the day so I'd be asked, well, what have you been doing all day? And uh, I couldn't remember because it was already in the past. And it's like, so this is a way of tracking that for me. Uh, but it's actually become really, really interesting for uh, sort of showing where the time goes. Like, uh, you can go back and uh, look at how much time you've been doing for particular tasks. And uh, uh, yeah, so if I go. Uh, Okay, that's a very big search. That has, that's actually going to take a few moments. I've been using this now for nearly a year, possibly. Because I've spent so much time in this, um, it's now jumped to a timestamp rather than giving me a, a fuzzy time. Um, so if you, that is the amount of time that I've spent doing this particular task over these uh, times. So that was that actually wasn't a very good example. Um, let's, let's refine that. Let's say um, we want... Um, just email and there we go so um, <laughs> I've uh, I've spent uh, 152 hours uh, reading emails uh, okay so there's that uh, let's go and install it so we first want to get off to github and we want to go to ksandom slash done it And if we come down here, we see an installing it. Boink. And to do that, we just go and paste, like so. And let's run that. There we go. So now, if we go done it, it should... There we go. So let's go done it doing equals. And we're going to say um, showing how to use Dunnit. Um, and so now, if we go today, and you can see that we've uh, we've spent five seconds showing how to use Dunnit. Um, now, let's. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, get into that better in the next episode. So uh, when we are finished for the day, uh, I've got day be gone. Um, so you can do it two different ways. You can go um, Dunnit doing equals BP and that's break personal um, so if we now go done it and you can see there's break personal there you can actually see all these different codes that I'm typing in um, list tasks and here's all the different ones um, that are in there um, this covers pretty much the range of stuff that I was doing at my last job. So you can go and add your own uh, tasks in there as you like. So if we now go... So to go and find something that we've done, um, if we just go today, um, so we can see we've, we've only got two things that we've been doing there, so let's just quickly add some more. So, um, so we're going to resume a task, and so now if we go done it, today you can see ooh, why did that not work that my friends is a bug but that might just be because the results set is too small let's try that again so let's go and resume yeah I think it was because the results set was too small um, I've never tested uh, that feature when I've had such a result, small result set I've always had uh, many months of data uh, in there by the time I've used that uh, so that might be something for a unit test later on so here I've just sort of I've gone and resumed uh, being on break. So now let's go and add some more tasks in there. So we're going to go done it doing equals email. And if we go back to today, and you can see now we're doing email. Uh, what other tasks have we got that we could do? Um, oh yeah, that's appropriate. <laughs> uh, 
you'll see you'll see I've put little uh, little gems in there um, to sort of uh, things to make you laugh so if we have a look here it's just the occasional one here and there oh yeah yeah okay <laughs> so uh, yeah hopefully you guys appreciate that I've just put a few in there I don't want to riddle it too much with those I think that's probably enough to get you started on there I'm going to do another video where I actually get into a lot of the stuff which I've alluded to here in sort of a, a bit more detail so you can really get using it but this this here should get you started so if you have any questions put them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them